guys! Okay, so today I want to do a quick little review on the Thanks Period Panties. So I have two here that I own. So this is the Hip Hugger Brief in the first fabric that they came out with, like the, the nylon fabric. And then they recently came out with a cotton line, which is cool. So I want to try that out as well, and I got that in the thong style. And later on in the video, I'm also going to talk about some other period products. Um, like the Diva Cup and something else, so stay tuned for that. So, um, my first impression when I tried, these are the first ones I got and I was so excited to try them, so I just put them on when I knew, like, I just put them on and went to bed with no tampon or anything like that. I just wanted to try to see how it worked. And first impression, they were amazing, super comfortable, and no leak, like, amazing. So... The way they work is there's an absorbent layer at the bottom, so it kind of goes from here um, up to the back, and you can feel there's like, it's very thin, there's like a something in there that's obviously absorbing everything. And these are pretty thick too, they're double lined, so there's the nylon in the, on the outer, um, and then a cotton on the inside. And then same with this. They're also double lined, so there's like the lining on the inside, the cotton on the outside, and then the absorbent layer inside. And they're not, honestly, they're not that much thicker. I mean, they are thicker than regular panties, but obviously they have to be. But they are super comfortable. And I got this, both of them I got in a small, and I would say they fit true to size. These are pretty tight, but in a good way, like you want them to be tight so that nothing leaks out, and I think they do a really good job. So now I'll talk about kind of the cons so first of all the fit or like the style of the thong I don't love this elastic because I feel like if you put it on really quick it kind of it curls and it gets really like scrunched up and then you have to do that thing where you like fix it to make sure it's all like not folded <laughs> which is a little annoying but that's just like a small thing but as far as like functionality goes it's pretty good obviously this one is made to hold a lot more than the thong I think the hip hugger they say it can hold like two tampons worth and then the thong is only like half a tampon and to be honest I like tried to push it to the limits I was like oh I'm gonna like you know see how much this can hold and I did bleed through it so yeah be careful with the thong it doesn't hold as much as you would think uh, in the end, they're meant to be, especially like the thongs and stuff and the ones that don't hold that much, are meant to be more as like a backup to wearing a panty liner, oh sorry, not a panty liner, but a backup to wearing a tampon or something like a diva cut. And another con to it is, say you did like bleed a lot into one of your panties and you're out and you can't really change your underwear. You know what I mean? Versus wearing like a pad or a panty liner or something, you can just like rip it out and then replace it with something else so you're like fresh. But with this, you're kind of just like, oh, like that's it for the day until I go home and I can like take it off. So you, with that, you kind of just have to know your flow and just, you know, play within the boundaries that you're given. So, um,. In my recommendation, like, I love wearing the Diva Cup, so, okay, let's talk about that right now. So, this is the Diva Cup. Um, I just bought a new one because I think I accidentally threw out my other one, which is really sad. Oh, I should have mentioned the prices. Well, you can find them on the website. They're kind of expensive um, for panties, and so is the Diva Cup, but they're reusable, so you kind of just, like, make the investment, and then you don't have to keep buying them, which is awesome. I like that. Um, I forgot the prices off the top of my head, but you can check them out on the website below. And they also have a referral program, so if you, um, I'll link it down below, but it's like, if you use my code or my link or something, you get $10 off, and then I also get $10 off. It's like an Uber code, so please use it, because I want to get more of these. I want to, like, stock up. I want to have, like, the whole range, so I can just, like, wear them every single day when I'm on my period. Okay, so this is the Diva Cup. So if you don't know what this is, it's a menstrual cup. So you basically shove this 
up your vagina and it catches all the blood and then you take it out and you pour it out, you rinse it out and oh I have a wash but there's like um they have a special brand Diva wash that you can use to wash it out and then you can insert it back in. And what I love about this is that you can wear this for like 12 hours, up to 12 hours. So you literally change it once in the morning, have your day, and then change it once before you go to bed. And that can just be your entire period. And then you wear the panties as like a backup in case this leaks, like in case it's like the seal isn't good or whatever. Which I love. You can't do that with tampons because then you're at the risk of TSS because it absorbs more of your bodily fluids and your body kind of like wants to reject that. Whereas this is made out of silicone and your body will accept it because it's not soaking up anything, if that makes sense. There's two ways you can put this in. Or I, I think there's more, but like I only know of two. So you squish it into like a U and then you insert it like that. Or you push one end down and it's kind of like that. I do it both ways. I think I usually do it like this, like the U way. Okay, but I have a question to you. So if you guys use a Diva cup or any other menstrual cup similar to this, like, can you tell me your tips? Because sometimes I put it in and I swear it doesn't open up. Like it's supposed to open up like this inside and like have a perfect seal, but I swear it's like, always not always but a lot of the times like dented and I can feel it's dented and I'm like okay good enough like whatever and usually it just like it will like expand itself throughout the day and it'll be fine and I like won't have any issues but sometimes it's like dented and it's like kind of sideways and I'm like okay that's good enough because it's really annoying sometimes to take it out and put it back in so if you have any tips for that let me know and it comes with a little bag huge so you can store it after you're done um so I always boil mine in hot water before I start using it for my period and then you can of course if you want to like boil it and wash it after and store it in your bag for later and then the last thing I want to talk about my friend actually has a period type of subscription box so you can sign up and then every you can choose if you want it every two months, every three months, or every four months. And then you get a box shipped to your door with um, organic tampons or organic pads or panty liners. You can pick what you need. And it also comes with fair trade chocolate, which is super cute and like a little card. So it's super sweet. If you want to check that out, I'll link it down below. Uh, I think that's such a good idea. So yeah, overall, highly recommend the Thanks Panties. And... The Diva Cup. I love wearing them together. I love that they're reusable. You're not contributing to the waste. Like, honestly, period panties are a game changer. And I thought, like, I thought this was new to the market, like, period panties. But apparently there's other brands, and these Thinks wasn't the first one, which I didn't know, but they're the first ones to make it kind of, like, brand name and mainstream. I haven't looked into the other ones, but if you have tried them, let me know in the comments below if you like them or if they're better more affordable or whatnot because I kind of want to expand my collection <laughs> like I want to get more of the things and maybe I'll try other brands as well so yeah let me know if you've tried anything um and yeah that's pretty much the end of my video I hope you found it helpful if you have any questions at all leave them in the comments below and I'll answer them and until next time bye